Good morning, ESM. I'm Chris. Students from across the state participated in the Skills USA competition. Competitions that have students compete head to head in career and te technical competitions. We will highlight this year's participants after news. ESM, these are our top stories for today. A Syracuse man who was charged as a proud boy in the Capitol riots has been fired from Happy Mushroom Digital Media Company, which he started. Matthew, Matthew Greeny was arrested recently on charges of helping the Capitol riots in January. The company, which has offices in Hollywood and Syracuse, put out a press release this past weekend. We are extremely appalled to learn Mr. Green ha held benefits that are so counter to what Happy Mushroom stands for, said CEO Felix George. We have no tolerance for violence, he concluded. Green has always been very open about being a member of the Proud Boys for some time. Happy Mushroom, f Mushroom fired him this weekend. In other news, the historic lighthouse in Montauk, New York, that was built in 1796, is slowing, slowly slipping into the ocean. It used to stand 300 feet from the coast, but is now less than 100 feet. The Army Corps of Engineers will reuse existing stones along the shore to help stabilize the lighthouse, along with a lot of other restorations. According to Senator Chuck Schumer, they will start the work in May. It is with a great sadness that we announce the passing of William Bill Scott, the Teachers Association president. Bill passed away suddenly this weekend as he spent time with his family. Bill was only 53. He also was a dedicated social worker in the community and served on the NYSUT Board of Directors of Ed. 7-8 at large director and on the Greater Syracuse Labor Council. He is survived by his wife Carolyn Scott who works at Pine Grove Middle School as a math and science teacher and their two sons Aiden and Liam. New York State United Teachers President Andy Pelota issued the following statement. The entire NYSUT family mourns the passing of STA President Bill Scott, a passionate advocate for Syracuse students and education professionals Bill always brought a positive approach to his leadership and ensured that all voices were heard. He carried himself with great integrity and always took pride in his work. As a union family, we are here for Bill's family in this outbreaking, heartbreaking time and extend our full support to his loved ones. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention senior variety show participants, sign up for your rehearsal recording times this week for the CVS classroom ASAP. Any senior that wants to submit photos for the SVS slideshow, please do so by Saturday, May 1st at 4 o'clock p.m. Photographs must be submitted to the following email address included in this year's SVS slideshow at svs at esm21 at gmail.com. In the subject line, please include the first and last name. As always, if you have any questions regarding the Senior Variety Show, please contact Mr. Burgess and or Ms. Kakamo via email, Google Hangouts, or in person. We wanted to acknowledge those students who participated this year in cosmetology, Sarah Brown, uh, Ethics, Haley, <laughs> Haley Brammer, uh, Emily, uh, early, early childhood, sorry, Rihanna Butchko, uh, and cultural artist Daniel Baxter. Uh, today, on Monday, we will have a high school, uh, and now on to weather, I guess. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 55 and a low of 37 degrees, making today the coldest day of the week. Today, we'll be breezy and have some sunshine throughout the day. Tonight there, will be less, tonight, there will be less wind and more clouds. On Tuesday, we will have a high of 68 and a low of 54 degrees, and it's going to start warming up the week. Tuesday, we'll have some intervals of sun and a risk of showers as the day progresses. 
Wednesday will be the warmest with a high of 74 and a low of 53 degrees. Wednesday will have some rain, will have some rain and storm clouds developing with a chance of uh, storm and rain. And I'm Grayson with your weather. The SM has been participating in skills for the past five years since cosmetology teacher Nikki uh, Panty introduced the school into the competition. Senior Katie Schmidt has been participating in the, the last four years and has been picked in every competition she has participated in. This year, we joined forces with Todd Durantini. Together, the team was recognized as the 2020 New York State champion and they will compete in nationals sometime in June. Here's a look at their prize winning video. Most schools across New York closed. Many students across the state have felt an impact of the quality of their education. Well, a lot of the like biggest problems that I noticed was that it was hard to like get in contact with teachers. It definitely helped me a lot once I came back into school. Some of John's teachers are noticing the improvement after seeing him in person. Um, it's easier to connect with John. Most kids, when they're virtual, have their cameras off, and really all they are to us sometimes is a circle on the screen. More focused when you're in person, because when you're in school, your mindset is this is school, and school is where we do work, and school is where we learn. Although some students are struggling with the distance learning model, some students are thriving out of the hybrid model. So like many learning situations, some work for some kids, some work for most kids. Uh, sometimes students have the ability to thrive, and so we've seen all of those similar scenarios. No matter what learning model you are in, hard work and staying engaged will help you make the best out of your year. The varsity football team destroyed J.D. this weekend 34-7. Quarterback Tyler Bell had one rushing touchdown and two passing touchdowns. Nolan Palmer had one receiving touchdown and the other one went to Nate Polano. Amari Withers and Makai Combs each had one rushing touchdown. Combs ended up finishing up with 24 rushing yards and 8 yards per carry. In the NBA, the Phoenix Suns take on the New York Knicks today. They are the, the Knicks are the fourth seed in the East and are coming off a nine-game win streak. And the Phoenix Suns are the second team, second seed in the West. In the MLB, the San Diego Padres beat the Los Angeles Dodgers 8-7 last night in 11 innings. Eric Hosmer's sack fly in the 11th gave the go-ahead run for the Padres. Fernando Tatis Jr. in the three-game series this weekend had five home runs, which is the first shortstop in MLB history to ever do so at Dodger Stadium. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Thank you for watching today's show. So from me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.